Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. So today we're going to talk about Resident Evil. I got the games, I got the movies, no action figures, but as you can see the collection has grown considerably, okay? So what has sparked my interest in Resident Evil again? It's been a while, right? Um, I met this friend, okay, uh, at the combo convention. And she has so much to say about Resident Evil. I just love listening to her uh, thoughts and opinions about Resident Evil. She loves it, okay? She loves the series, loves the movies, loves the games, loves everything Resident Evil. So uh, if she's watching, hey, Elizabeth. <laughs> so um, what we're going to do today, we're going to talk about the games, we're going to talk about the movies. I sorted out the games from, like, the main series and then, like, the spin-off games. Spin-offs like Operation Raccoon City, Dead Aim, Outbreak, etc. I also have the movies here, the one starring Mia Yogovich as Alice, okay, and I also have the CGI movies. So we're going to talk about each one of these, and I wish Elizabeth was here, I really do, because she has so much to say about these, these games, these movies. Uh, I wish she was here to give her thoughts and her opinions about each one of these, but uh, we'll do that in the future, right? <laughs> so I'll just talk about uh, each, of the, each of the ones I have. And gives you uh, and give you my thoughts and opinions for each one of them. Okay, and then we'll, and we'll just go from there. Okay, so first one is the PlayStation One era. We have here the original Resident Evil. Okay, this game introduced us to Chris, to Jill, to Wesker, and and uh, zombies, and pretty much like the introduction to survival horror the way it was meant to be. Okay. Um, there was a director's cut. I heard that they take out a lot of the music in the director's cut. Um, so, personally, uh, most people say, get the original Resident Evil. That's the game to play. And uh, I love the character Barry. He's funny. The game is funny as a whole. There's, there's bad acting, bad graphics, but it's such a fun game to play. Okay. Um, so there it is, Resident Evil. Next one we have here, no. Resident Evil 2, okay, this is for still, we're still in the PlayStation 2 era, uh, but this introduces Leon, Claire, some of the more best characters in the series, okay. Um, I really have not much to say about this. This is just one of those games that you, they're just really good, okay. Um, we're also introduced to Ada. Ada's a very awesome character, by the way. Um, so I have here Resident Evil 3. Now, what do I have to say about Resident Evil 3? It's my favorite game of the entire series. In the entire series. I love Resident Evil 3. It's my first Resident Evil game. I love the characters. I love Carlos. I mean, uh, his his voice, his his just his whole personality. It's just funny to me. <laughs> I just love it. So there it is. Resident Evil 3. Uh... Yeah, definitely go out and get this if you uh, can still play it, okay? Uh, these games on PSN and stuff, they're cheap, okay? So uh, if you haven't played these games, I, I urge you to play the original Resident Evil series, okay? 1, 2, 3 especially, okay? Um, 2, definitely play that one. 3 is a maybe. It was kind of the, the shortest story, but uh, I enjoyed it, okay? Um, so let's move on. <laughs> Next one we have here for the PlayStation 2, we got Resident Evil 4. Now, Elizabeth has played Resident Evil 4, the HD version, and she said it looks amazing, man. So if you haven't had the chance, go pick up Resident Evil 4 uh, HD, and I hear it's it's just awesome, okay? Um, I've only played on the PlayStation 2. Uh, my friend played on the GameCube. Uh, apparently, the GameCube took out a few extra features that were not seen in the... Uh, PlayStation 2 version, okay? So there it is. The PlayStation 2 version also has some uh, extra weapons and stuff like that, so... Yeah. Next one we have here, Resident Evil 5! <sighs> Which is not honestly not my favorite, okay? Uh, when it comes to personal experiences, uh, I was sitting in Paul's apartment when he played this for the first time, okay? I played a demo of it before then, uh, but uh, I, I didn't re really saw the full game until I saw it in his place, okay? So I was hanging out with Paul, he bought the game, we played it together, okay? And he loved, he liked it, and he finished it very soon and early. And, uh, I wish I had the Gold Edition, though. This is just the normal PlayStation 3 uh, version, but there is an, also a Gold version with some, some extra, extra features. Um, then recently we have 
Resident Evil 6, which is actually not that bad. Okay? I enjoyed it. I like the co-op and stuff like that. Um, but overall, it's not my favorite Resident Evil game. Honestly, but I, I just love the graphics, I love the gameplay, I love the new characters and the old characters. We see Leon, we see Ada, we see Chris, all come back, okay? Uh, so yeah, there it is, Resident Evil 6. Okay. Uh, I, I placed this with the, uh, with the normal series because, you know, it has a number next to it. Resident Evil 0 for the GameCube. Um, honestly, I've only seen cutscenes of this, as you can see, it's, it's for GameCube, and I do not have a GameCube. <laughs> so I bought this game for the sole reason of having it in my collection, okay? So there it is, Resident Evil Zero, okay? And that takes care of the main series. I mean, a lot of people say that Code Veronica was the real Resident Evil 3, and, but I, I placed it with the, uh, the spin-off games. Uh, just because it doesn't have a real number next to it. Let's go through the spin-off games, shall we? Uh, we have, let's talk about these two together. Outbreak, okay? We've got Outbreak, the first and the second one, File 1, File 2. Um, the thing about Outbreak is that it talks about uh, the stories that happen during the original Resident Evil, you know, 2 and 3. Um, but not focusing on those characters specifically, okay? These have their own characters, their own adventures, and the, and the characters are really funny, okay? Some of them are, are just fun to play as uh, certain characters. The cop, for instance, there was a detective. There was actually one dude that his, his special feature was to play dead. I mean, that, that was his special, special move. It was just to lay on the ground. <laughs> so I thought that was always funny. Okay, like I said, Cole Veronica is... To some people, the real Resident Evil 3, um, I got Code Veronica X, it has a few extra scenes and a few extra um, storylines and stuff like that, a few extra cutscenes and stuff like that, so there it is, Resident Evil Code Veronica X. We got Dead Aim, I do have Survivor, but I don't have a box for it, but there is Dead Aim, it's a first person shooter, similar to Survivor. Um, another game that you might want to check out is Dark Side Chronicles. It's pretty similar to this one, okay, when it comes to gameplay. Um, for the Wii, we have the Umbrella Chronicles, okay? Uh, this game pretty much takes place between all of the Resident Evils, okay? Uh, but I have, of course, I don't have a Wii, I have all the Sony systems, though. But this is, uh, I heard they do have a version of this for um, PlayStation that you can download, okay? So. And finally, we have here Operation Raccoon City. I am currently playing this game right now. Have not finished it, and I'm trying to. Uh... This is kind of a what if storyline, okay? Like um, it's not exactly canon. As a matter of fact, spoiler alert: you actually kill one of the main characters of the series uh, in this game. So yeah, there you go. So there is the Resident Evil spin-off games. Uh, finally, we have here. We're going to talk about all these at one time. The live action movies, okay? Um, let's go through each one of them. I don't have an actual box for Resident Evil, the first one, but it, it is inside this uh, resurrected edition right here. So this one has the first and the second movie together. Um, we got Apocalypse, okay? We got Extinction. There are some special features in case you're curious. Um, we got Afterlife. And Retribution, okay? And Elizabeth and I, this is our first movie watching together. <laughs> so, um, what do I have to say about the um, live action movies with Alice? I think they're great, okay? I think that most of the movies don't use, they try to adapt it straight, but I feel like this is more of a nod with elements of the game in it, and I feel like that's the way to do it, okay? Um, I feel like if they tried to adapt the first game into a movie, it wouldn't work uh, quite as right as how they did it here. Um, when I first saw Apocalypse, I loved it, man. It was one of my favorite movies. Um, Extinction was not as great, but uh, Retribution and Apocalypse, two favorite movies out of the live-action movie series, okay? Um, not much to say about it. I mean, there's so much nods, so much... Uh, most of the movie was like... All these movies, they have uh, Easter eggs, okay? Pretty much. 
uh, a good word to say is just Easter eggs to those who are fans of the games, okay? Many people who enjoy the games, not like the movies and vice versa, but uh, um, for the most part, uh, people who uh, have played the games know it really well, who watch the movies and be like, hey, that, they, they got that from Resident Evil 3, or whatever, right? So, anyway, that's what I have to say about the movies. I liked it. Um, not everyone likes it. Elizabeth likes the movies. Um, but, yeah, for the most part, uh, they're pretty good movies. I hear they're going to make another one, make a couple more, and then they'll probably reboot it. That's what I heard, anyway. So, yeah. Then we have here Resident Evil, Degeneration, and Damnation, okay? These movies, I thought they were freaking boring, man. <laughs> I just didn't like them. I mean, sure, they're side stories, and they contain the characters I know and love, you know? It has Leon, it has Claire, it has zombies. But, honestly, I just don't like the CGI movies as much. That's just me, okay? Um, maybe you liked it, you loved it, you loved the storyline, but honestly, for me, it's just... It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Um, the live-action movies to me were actually better, more exciting, more interesting to watch than than this. Okay. So okay, that's all I have when it comes to Resident Evil. What is your favorite Resident Evil game? Uh, comment below. Let me know. Uh, rate, favorite, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.